I've worked as a curator and researched uh, Haida history for a long time. And our history is amazing. We're an amazing group of people. The entire Northwest Coast is comprised of amazing nations. And, um, and I've done a lot of repatriation efforts with the Haida. So we've gone to repatriate ancestors from museums. And um, that's a real profound experience because when you actually take your ancestors' remains from these boxes and weird places that really impacts you and makes you wonder why they were there in the first place. And so I wanted to talk about that because we went to England in 2009 and we saw the most spectacular box we'd ever seen. There was carvers there and uh, some of our young carvers from Haida Gwaii flew over and replicated this box. So I wanted to take a bit of that box because it's such an ancestral masterpiece and included in my work. So if you look on the back of the skull, there's a design and I literally lifted that from a poster <laughs> for a program around the box and wanted to honor the uh, integrity and the sophistication of my ancestors. I wanted to reveal a little bit of how they, they think in the world. But it's remarkable because I'm Haida and I'm here today and I celebrate that every day because the, there was a huge effort to wipe our people out. And our people went from 30,000 strong and after three waves of smallpox in the 1860s, there was 589 Haida left by 1914. And that's a really profound history and I wanted to talk about that in, in this piece um, because even through all of that loss, the Haida have done pretty well and not only lived but like thrived and like contained like that light inside came out and so I wanted this to glow in the dark and I wanted the light to come within so if you're alone in it <laughs> it's a dark room it slowly fades out but it's a pretty cool experience so that's why I did this skull is because I wanted to talk about that history and the kind of work that we do so thank you um, and thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this.